guys this is Charlie with watch your style thanks for joining the channel today I'm super excited to show you guys a very special watch to me uh, this is the Rolex Datejust 41 with the blue dial and the white gold bezel and Jubilee bracelet now this is a stunning piece and I've owned this watch for a few months now and I've really just enjoyed my time with it so I wanted to show you guys the specifications of the watch the details of the watch as well as kind of give you a re-unboxing experience, show you what's inside the box and what to expect. And lastly, show you how this watch pairs with different outfits and kind of show how the watch wears in different situations and different occasions. So without further ado, let me go ahead and flip the camera and show you guys the watch. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to the Watch Your Style channel. I'm super excited today to bring you guys another unboxing of a Rolex. Um, I did a Rolex Explorer unboxing not too long ago. This is the Datejust 41 reference 126334. It's the blue dial variant with the Jubilee bracelet and the fluted bezel. Interestingly enough, I actually had have owned this watch for longer than I've owned the, the Rolex Explorer. I just haven't gotten around to giving you guys an um, unboxing experience of this watch. So let me go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. So this is your standard outer box. So let's get to it guys. I know you're all anxious to see what's inside. And here it is, the star of the show, the Rolex Datejust 41 blue dial variant. Now you can see it's a very striking dial, very beautiful color. I think the camera actually doesn't do it total justice. I'll, I'll pop up some other shots of this watch and just show you how dynamic this blue dial is. It's just beautiful. It looks kind of black in certain lights, but when you get the right lighting, that blue, it's kind of like a royal blue. It really shines. And some of the other things that you guys get in the box are, you know, your bezel protect protector, the Rolex hang, hang tag that shows the, the superlative chronometer certification, as well as some extra end links. And if you pop open this compartment up here, you will see your worldwide service warranty booklet, as well as your guarantee card, your warranty card, which is good for five years. And then you'll get an instruction manual as well. So pretty standard stuff in here. So let's talk about the watch. This is Rolex's Datejust 41. So the classic Rolex Datejust that came out back in 1945 and through the early 2000s, that one was always 36 millimeters in diameter. Rolex came out with the Datejust 2. I forget the specific year, uh, but that one was a little bit chunkier. The lugs were a little thicker and just overall bulkier. Um, the watch kind of lost its more slim and tapered charm and Rolex kind of brought that back a little bit with this model. They tapered down the lugs, made the lugs thinner just like in the 36 millimeter model and they also amped up the specs in this watch. They put in a new movement which is the Rolex Caliber 3235. It's an amazing movement tech wise. It's got 70 hours of power reserve, chronergy escapement, making the watch kind of insensitive to magnetic interference. I think it has like a nickel phosphorus material and is just a very solid movement and extremely accurate as you would come to expect with the superlative chronometer certification. Now in terms of the measurements of this watch, obviously it's 41 millimeters in diameter, not including the crown. Lug distance or wingspan is 47 and a half millimeters and the lug to lug distance or width is 20 millimeters, tapering down to 16 millimeters, and then kind of coming, bumping back up to 17 millimeters at the clasp. So you can see there's polishing here in the center links of the Jubilee bracelet. The clasp is also brushed, polished, brushed. 
and then you just snap open the clasp finish very nicely and this watch does feature the easy link bracelet adjustment system as well for five millimeters of on the fly adjustment no decorated case back which you would kind of expect from Rolex they don't really have many if any watches with a decorated case back let me go ahead and pop this on the wrist guys and show you how this wears as you can see the watch wears really nicely on my wrist I have a six and a half inch wrist in diameter I would say the wingspan of the watch is just enough where it's not too big for my wrist I think it fits very comfortably on my wrist and there's no it doesn't overextend I would say this watch is a very versatile watch you can kind of dress it up or down I've, I found that if I wear a t-shirt and jeans this watch is at home not that we dress up that much these days but it does fit well with uh, more formal attire obviously as well just due to the the dressier nature of this timepiece now let's talk about some of the some of the details on the dial so the dial does have loomed indices all around except for the 12 o'clock which is the Rolex logo in white gold. But you will have fully loomed indices, which really helps with the nighttime legibility of this watch. And you'll also see Arabic numerals at every five minute increments around the per perimeter of the dial. Really kind of adds to the sporty characteristic of this watch as well. And then of course, there is the date magnifier. Very easy to read, it definitely helps with seeing the date at a glance which is kind of the essence of this watch it's what this watch is all about this is a screw down crown rolex's classic oyster case featuring 100 meters of water resistance and a screw down case back as well so it's a very versatile watch it's very rugged even though it looks glossy and dressy and sort of your run run-of-the-mill blingy kind of Rolex. I found that this is actually a surprisingly versatile watch. This can suit many situations, many occasions. And even though the 41 millimeter sizing is controversial, I find that the watch really doesn't wear as big as the 41 millimeter di diameter would suggest. It actually wears more like a 39 or a 40. Let me show you the watch next to my Rolex Explorer. So I will do a comparison of these two watches in a future video, stay tuned for that. I would say both of these watches are very distinctly different, but also similar at the same time. And I think it would be really interesting to see these two compared side by side. So let me know what you would like to see in that video. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the watch. Let me know what you thought of the video. As always, be sure to like, comment, sub subscribe, and share. I really appreciate the, the support as I try to build this channel. And thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.